Hello, y'all. Oh, let me get some light. Yeah, I'm sweating. I just finished packing up my stuff or whatever. And um, so I promise to let y'all see me get into this thing. So I'm gonna record myself getting into it. It's actually not a hammock hammock. It's a, it's a chair still. So I don't have a hammock, I have a chair. But I'm gonna record myself getting into it. Let y'all see. See if I make a fool of myself or not. <laughs> Cause I know that's what y'all want to see. <laughs> and I just got finished eating breakfast and I am about to leave this bungalow and go to my next bungalow. I'm tired of this door knocking. And go to my next uh, villa bungalow. You know, that's what I like. I only start in hotels. When, um, let's see if this gorilla grip uh, which one call it is the truth or not? Hell no. My camera fall, bruh. I'ma fight Amazon. Cause they tied it on a tree and it was good. Y'all can't see me. Okay. Right, that's what I got on. Of course, y'all know. Showing my fat fat. Why not? Don't nobody know me here. <laughs> I'ma show it all. I'ma show it all. <laughs> but now my driver should be here. Y'all. Cause y'all know I am not no itty bitty girl. Woo! I thought I heard cracks. But these bamboos and it, no, it's not bamboo. This wood is strong. It's from a tree. It's a Pacific tree. And it's like super duper strong. Like really strong. Because y'all know, like I said, I ain't no itty bitty girl. Let me make it closer. Okay. I should let my hair down. No, I'm trying to stay cool because I still have not got a haircut. And this mess is long. If I get a haircut, I know I will cool down. But it's not so bad outside right now. I got me on some, I don't know what those shorts called, long shorts? I don't know. Kind of above your knees. But they're high waist and they lift your booty up, so. <laughs> got some booty lifters on. Yeah, I know, I need that. I need that. But yeah, I'm not leaving Nicaragua yet. I am still in Costa Rica. I'm actually about to go through my money, count up my little change, change to see if I need to stop at the ATM, have my driver stop me, so stop there so I can get some more money out and make sure I pay him his money. And so far, do not get me wrong, y'all. Ria, Ria, Maria, if you're watching this, I love you. Costa Rica is beautiful. It is very beautiful. But Costa Rica is expensive, y'all. And when I say expensive, like, when I was in Bali, if I wanted to buy, like, let's say a tank top like this, and it could be a male or female tank top, it probably would have been about maybe between, I want, I want to say between 3 to $10. That's what I want to say. Y'all, it's a red hornet. Should I be scared? Because I don't like bees. But they wanted $20. I was like, huh? 20 Are you serious? So I was like, nah, I'm not buying it. But I've um but that was at my hotel that I was at. I didn't go to um like a souvenir store or like a bargain store or something like that. I actually it was actually at my hotel, so they were bumping the prices for real. Then when I told them I was going to um my next hotel, 
this is when I was at the Selena and Asura out in my in, in Costa Rica when I told him I was going to Eden on the Chocolata um was this over the border in Nicaragua they was like oh Nicaragua this like he was like it's expensive out there blah 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 I think he was just trying to get me to stay that way because they known for having um Costa Rica has a lot of tourists that go there so they make a lot of money out that way I think he was just trying to you know get me to stay out that way or stay with them again but like I said that hotel was very beautiful my room was very nice but I didn't like the toilet if I don't like the toilet like I, and I know some of y'all like well you shouldn't be sitting on the toilet I understand the paper stuff too y'all but a toilet should still be clean enough that if I did have to rush to the bathroom and could not put the paper down and I need to do number two or something like that, I should feel comfortable enough to sit my butt down and take me a shower afterwards, you know? No, that toilet seat was, it looked, it was a whole nother color and I couldn't do that. I couldn't rock with it. Sorry, y'all. I had to disappear for a little bit. Why did I go like this? I don't know. Um, to count this money, I can't be fooling with y'all. I'm trying to count this money up. Because I got to make sure I'm correct. Because, you know, the value of a dollar here is different than the value of a dollar in the U.S. You know? So, I just need to make sure if I need to go to, to the ATM or not. And guess what? I do probably wouldn't have had a, that driver last night that I told y'all about that old man kept touching my leg he saw this chocolate this blonde these piercings and tattoos and was like ooh look at that afro punk girl <laughs> look at her I like I like <laughs> no I'm not conceited and I don't think I'm that hot but they've been showing me some love out here I love your hair and bonita honk the horn at me hey. <laughs> but no like I was saying though Costa Rica is more expensive um you still can you still can find great prices on like hotels and stuff because I I mean I I didn't pay stupid prices on hotels I still paid really good prices like like I do you know like what I go for um, what I mean is how can I say it hmm. Oh, when it comes to buying food and, you know, sometimes shopping, it can make you feel like you're in the U.S. again. Because, like, when I was in Indonesia, like I told y'all, those big plates and all that food I showed you, I had, like, enough food to feed six people. And all I paid was, like, $20, $30. Where, where you know they can do that at in the U.S.? I wait nowhere but um oh I answered it for y'all huh but um oh unless you go to McDonald's or something but I'm talking about restaurant food um but here the prices is like really good really really good but I enjoy this hotel I'm sorry bungalow I showed y'all it and we're gonna in this tree. I mean, this little thing. Thank goodness it ain't break. Because I know I'm juicy. You said, you said. And it would have said, poop, poop, poop. and then y'all would have had something to laugh at and played it over and over. But I wouldn't mind. I mean, some more views. Play it over and over. But um, just make sure y'all like it and comment. You know? So. Yeah, just waiting for my driver, chilling, drinking some water, 
it actually feels pretty good out here like it's it's warm but it's a different type of warm they get humidity out here too but they just got finished doing like their independence day or the independence weekend or something like that i think it's the actual day today it might be i don't know but yeah <laughs> I'm at my new villa, right? Yeah. New villa now. And this is our view. It's a 120 degree view. And all the way over there is Costa Rica where I was at at first. But I've been in Nicaragua now for about three, four days now. And on this side is where we're at. This is the whole city this side. Right? Andal, so if you keep filming, there is a white dot on the top of the rock, which that is Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. The second biggest of Latin America after mm -hmm. Brazil. And this is the sitting area where they have just to sit and relax and breakfast out yes, here too? that's right. Look at that hammock, that's beautiful. Enjoy it. I hope they fight, I bet you they fight over it. <laughs> And this is the beautiful sitting area, y'all. It's so gorgeous. And they have their bar up here. And this is the hostess. He's great. The owner out here. Awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me show y'all around my new villa. It's over there, but I ain't gonna show y'all yet. I'm gonna take y'all down to the pool first. Come down here, less steps and walking than my last one, but the other one was nice too. Down here is the pool area. Beautiful pool, look at it y'all. OMG, it's so pretty, 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 pretty. It's pretty. And then there's, um. Another villa over here, and the people in this villa, and me, this is our pool only. This pool is only for us, no one else. And then this is their sitting area down here for them. And so they have like the pool view. I wanted the garden view. So... This is my up, this is where I'm at. This is where I can see from. This is my view. Beautiful view. I remember over there, that's Costa Rica. These are my chairs. That it belongs to me and this is my little sitting area and then this is my porch yes I keep saying mine because it's only for me dolo solo solo dolo um he's gonna come bring a hammock out for me so I can have a hammock but he did let me know that right above me there is a nest and sometimes eggs fall out of it you can tell they clean it up, but that's so sad. And I have a story I can tell y'all about when I was little, about a baby egg, but I'm a little embarrassed to tell y'all that story. I don't think I'm a bad person. This is front door. This is mid room. Okay, I started like this. This is my bed. It's nice. This is called a honeymoon suite. We all know Laverne is single. <laughs> and 
and I ain't mad about it. But um, hey, I see my fat fat. I'm right. Tattoo. Oh, and I am about to go to a tattoo parlor today at three. So Nicaragua, as long as they're talking the right price. Guess who's getting a tattoo today? This girl. <laughs> Cause I didn't get one in Costa Rica yet. So I'm gonna get one out here in Nicaragua, and then I might still get one in Costa Rica. We'll see. They have a desk here, and I have a that I can put my clothes in and stuff if I want to. But you know, I will never do that. And then I in here it has my towel for the pool. And then they have this right here. It is a bathtub. They did put essential oils and stuff in it, but it's actually extra if you want to do it. And I know some people are like, why is it extra? It's extra because they have to actually, the way they get their water, they, they do well water here. So basically, they have to make sure the well water is enough so they can do it. So I have to tell them like if I know if I know tonight I want to do it by like five four hours before I need to let them know. What's that over there? I'm like an egg. I don't know, but I ain't touching it. And then up here it has these look these walls and steps is beautiful, y'all. Have my shower, of course. I have the window here I can close the shade if I want to also I can bring the curtains around to close if I want to but the thing about it is I'm the only person up here nobody comes up here the people down there can't even come up here toilet of course and towels I'm picky and then this is the sink area got a his and hers or hers and hers, or you can call it a Laverne's and a Laverne's. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is a sink area, two mirrors. Told you it's a honeymoon suite. But you know, y'all know, y'all know how I rock. I solo travel, baby. Got a fam. I have. An, this is another room without um, central air. But I thought I only ordered, got one room like that, but no, I got two. It's okay though, because I have the ceiling fan and I have the electric fan they gave me. And yeah, y'all, it's beautiful. I'm going to show y'all my view one more time. And then I'm about to cut out on y'all until I get to this tattoo parlor, baby. Look at this view. I haven't even went to sleep yet. And I am loving this view. And the thing about it is so cool. It's this place doesn't keep a lot of people at once. So there's only like three villas. And I think that's even cooler. Remember the pools down there? I know I'm not tall enough. What you want, bird? Where's the bird at? There goes the bird. I know I held a bird in Bali, y'all, but I ain't holding no bird here. Ain't nobody placed a bird in my hand. I ain't doing it. And then there's some more steps that go up, I think, to the top where I came in at. And then the owners, they have, um, he said, a tree, tree house um, home that's up there. So that's really cool, too. They're close by, they're here on the site, and they get help with whatever. If these, if y'all know something, y'all gonna say LeBron you're crazy. If these squares were closer and tighter together, I would climb <laughs> on top of this and take a picture on top. I would so take a picture on top of this. Standing up with my arms in the air like always with that with this background behind me. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. I think it's beautiful. I hear something in the bushes. Unless it's the air. It could be a lizard. I heard it. Oh no, no, it's the air. 
pushing that big leaf. But okay, y'all. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. What tattoo am I gonna get today? But we're gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to him. Talk about design. Talk about prices, and see what he says from there. And voila. Voila, la, la, la. I'll talk to y'all again tonight. Or at least when I get to the tattoo place. I'll talk to y'all again. And then I will be talking to y'all tonight also. <laughs> I'm sitting here with the owners. And they offered me a quesadilla. Looks delicious. I get to sit with them and eat. Eat with them. Hey y'all, um, so today is, I don't know, the 17th, and it is 6.12 a.m. Yes, I do get up early, but I usually just sit in the bed anyway. I still am in the bed, but I'm actually dressed already. I got dressed and whatnot. I just wanted y'all to see the view. From my bed you know I showed y'all I had a garden area this is my view when I wake up in the morning and yeah I slept with the curtains open and one of the doors open the screen door locks and that door locks and like I said on this property it's only like three villas so right now there's only like five people here I think it's like two people the owners and me so and the people downstairs are not allowed to come up here on my patio and chill or nothing like that but we do say we do share the same um which i'm call but this is a nice view to wake up to what y'all think i think it's nice but yeah i'm about to go and yes I brushed my teeth already too I'm about to <laughs> I'm just annoyed y'all I'm about to uh, go and eat breakfast I still did not get my tattoo or any extra piercings here I wasn't looking to get a piercing I was looking to get a tattoo but the guy was closed. The sign said open, but it was closed. And probably he probably left the shop because um, their power plant had an explosion on one of their, I don't know what they're called, one of their things, and it cut the power out. So, you know, when I got over there, I didn't have an um, appointment either, so I want y'all to think, oh, he just like dipped in your appointment. I didn't. I was trying to see if he does walk-ins, basically. So, when I got over there, his sign said open, push, but he wasn't there. And the taxi driver that was, I guess, always around that corner that knew him was like, oh, he went fishing at like 2 o'clock. And I was like, huh? But it made sense, I guess, because the power went out. And he on the boat fishing or out wherever fishing and yeah what can you say oh and I broke my nail it hurt so bad it was so long well I didn't break it it got loose and there was no hope of trying to hang on to it because I was trying to hang on to it until I got home but I still got like basically five days left so I'm, I, I just say you know what Laverne snatch the bad boy off and take the what two days of pain and then it'll numb out and you won't feel it no more but um yeah that's my beautiful view Scourge is out there something very nice to wake up to 
makes you feel, you know? <sighs> All right. So, breakfast at 7. Like I said, when I started the video, it was like 6, 12 a.m. Breakfast at 7. 7, 2 something, but I'm going at 7. So I can have time to sit down, settle my stomach and everything. Because I go on another adventure today. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm extra, I know. But I'm different. <laughs> but I am thinking about adding. I do have one other piercing that I'm supposed to do. I don't want to say what it is because I'm doing it with my long lost best friend Teresa in Cali when I go see her. Am I going to Cali now? I'm not going to Cali yet. But I'll probably be there soon. Cause we doing a piercing together. And then um but there's one that I think I wanna do. I don't know like what the hell else is you gonna put on your face? Hey I'm hey, hey chill out. I'm grown. And my mommy said I still look pretty. So it don't matter. Yes, I rolled my eyes at y'all. <laughs> there goes Lexi, little Lexi. She is six weeks. Six weeks old, yeah. Six weeks, y'all. And so soft. <laughs> Lexi at Via Loma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we are at the lake. What's the name of the lake again? Cosivolca. Cosivolca? Yeah. And there are two volcanoes. Y'all saw them earlier in my other pictures, but I'm even closer now. The one over here is active to our left. And the name of that one is? Concepcion. 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 Yeah. I probably said it wrong. <laughs> and the one right here? Maderas. Maderas. This one is the inactive wood. wood. Okay. That one's inactive, but this one is very active and he said it actually has a very high peak. But since the clouds, it's not clear, it's blocking it, you can't see it. But this is very cool. It's beautiful, y'all. And they go, got the windmills. That's over there. For the power. Oh, it's beautiful. next tour um seeing Garcia Garcendina Garcendina I think our guard yeah but yeah before I left out I wasn't feeling well now I'm really not feeling well so I can't I'm not gonna get on I can get on a boat tour but I'm not gonna get on the boat tour it probably make it worse I was supposed to go walk over there like the cathedral like market like we would be over there but I don't feel well so and that's where like they sell the water and the Gatorade and stuff so my awesome tour guide who was driving me around he went I gave him the money he went to go buy me a Gatorade and um, a bottle of water 
but I'm not stopping this tour because there's something I really want to do and I told him I don't care how sick I look we are going all the way <sighs> I don't know what's wrong all right y'all as sick as I am I was not going to end this tour because I want to come to the volcano. But I'm as sick as a dog right now. And I don't know why. This is the volcano. I am going to see if I can get up there so I can take a picture of the magma. They said I should, I should be able to see it. I couldn't make it so dark because I don't feel good. Uh, I was here like two weeks ago. Um, you know, I was standing my hair. Um, in one moment, we hear a big, you know, slants laid inside. And Bro. it was like... <laughs> And then all the rocks went through the lava. Y'all, we are at an active volcano. It's smoking right now, so that's how you know it's active. You can't see the red lava because there's so much smoke right now, but it is huge. Look at this. And then over there where you see like the hose is inside the rock is these special type of parrots that live over there who adapted to smelling the sulfur well being able to breathe the sulfur because volcanoes give out a lot of sulfur Alright y'all, y'all see the red spot right here? Y'all see the lava? There it go. Now that's clear. It's actually rumbling down there. Look at the lava y'all, this is an active volcano. Oh my goodness. As sick as I feel and got, I told y'all. Laverne was going to make it to this volcano. Ooh, it just splashed. Y'all see it splashing? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so sick, but I'm so excited. I can see it a lot. I was going to come at night, but since I've been feeling so sick, I didn't think I'd be able to make it at night. But luckily, we get to see the red. It is bubbling hard. I don't know if y'all can hear. I wish I could hear the roaring. Just covered it up. What am I getting today? This is my artist today. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm trying to get into the light so y'all can see it. This is my newest tattoo. It is 
a queen frog and a princess frog, and the queen frog is crying. I mean, I mean, you did a really good job. It's still peeling, so it's scratchy, but it's nice. I like it a lot. Remember, all my tattoos have meanings, all of them. <laughs>